Nuisance is very much not speaking to me. Since we weaned her car, which was the youngest, she's not happy. She's not happy at all. I don't even think an apple would solve this situation. Like that's, she's not trying to be nice, she's trying to eat me. With teeth. Feeding time at the zoo. I had a revelation yesterday. Now I was gonna throw these in scrap, but after watching Joe's video, I think I might keep them just in case we ever mash a drain. Absolute yockle genius. Yockle genius, yes. <laughs> This is less than ideal. Rose just said, um, the same as me, it's not soft wet snow like we thought it was. It's definitely ice. Um, so yeah. Thanks for the gloves there. <laughs> really useful. The only, only good thing about this weather is that it takes good photographs. That's it, there is no other advantages. So the Pennines are not even really that dusted in snow, they're just a tiny bit. But the Lake District fells, if we walk over here, Skiing ahoy, guys. Hi. Oh, there's a tiny snow dog. Hello, snow dog. Oh, so beautiful. And an even tinier snow dog. We love snow dogs. Oh, you're beautiful. Peck, peck. Haru. Nice, nice. Don't eat yellow snow, guys. Don't eat yellow snow. My chin is falling off. Very much just normal jobs today, kids. Nothing exciting going on, or then just, just being annoyed at the weather, really. Just in true farmer style. Like, that's, that's all I can say, really. Yeah, just, I'm just gonna be annoyed all day. My face is not gonna change from this. That's it. First of all, we will scrape the poos. Very exciting, very exciting. So you can see here, if I stand still, there's a bit of pull through with the youngsters. Like all this I am walking on is basically just silage. that slurry tank it's got to come out again and it's only going to impact you later on so I find it a lot easier just to take it out now and because the midden's only there so it's not you know it's not a hardship so like that ain't going down the slack if you wanted me to sound like I know what I'm talking about for a minute trust me just for a minute and um, these are beef cows they are on a fairly dry silage, that's it. There's no cake, there's nothing else. So obviously the shit that they produce is gonna be fairly dry as well. It's not an issue for us right now because we're also feeding that same silage to a straw bedded shed. And from that respect, it makes it a lot easier to keep clean. So having to take that out in the morning isn't a big deal to us at all. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. And I know a lot of people who'd shove it down as well. It'll go down if you make it, but you've got to take it back out. 
and it's not worth the hassle of him whinging because I don't do it. I don't do anything to do with slurry. I hate slurrying. I can slurry a field, but that's about it. Nah, 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 nah. get something with the telescopic boom on because you are literally just driving into a big pile of so when we turn our scales on <clears throat> I turn the lights on I come out here and I press on right I then have to wait until it beeps and says error and then I have to press reset and then it goes beep and then decides it's gonna um show up why do I have to do that surely I should just press on like since the day we got it that's what we've had to do and I've never really looked into it or questioned it because it's never been an issue kind of annoying though really um why I filled the feeder last night that's why it's full like <sighs> no nothing I can't get in I hope the sound's all right on this video. I've actually got my earphone in. I'm hoping it's a little bit better because my speaker's been playing up. Hi, how are you? Grumpy. So with me getting all the sheep in and realizing how many I actually have in a space, um, I've been looking this morning at lambing pens because I only have like 20 or something. <coughs> all right girls i'm coming i'm coming that's the only problem with pigs as soon as you walk in they know you're in and they shout at you joe and ollie you really know it shut up so i have some um i i i i i i i cattle um hurdles they're not they're not brilliant to be fair like if you start they're just slightly too tall for me to stand over the top of and if you stand on a bar it tends to you know and um, the world's not brilliant so i also have um some sheep hurdles that a man made me last year on facebook they they were at a price and i thought they were a really good deal possibly they were at a price for a reason um because you know all the court the like loopy corners that just hook over the next one Anyway, they are uh, they're pretty flimsy, to be fair. They're nothing really special. So I was looking this morning at what other ones I want to get before lambing, um, which will be a needs must. So whatever you have or any systems you've seen, stick them, either message me on Instagram or stick them in the comments and I will have a look because it's something I'm looking at now. I need to get some more ASAP um just so i'm not running behind because actually last year i'd started lambing before the hurdles turned up and i was panicking a little bit but yeah it since we started the sheep it just seems like we've poured an awful lot of money into them but like roy had said it's things like um sheep feeders sheep dogs uh trailers weighing scales stuff like that it's only to buy once it's not like i'm gonna have to buy it every year so i think at some point, the investment stage will be complete um, and we won't have to worry as much about buying new stuff. But yeah, I am short on lambing hurdles um, or some sort of lambing system. I mean, I'm gutted. My friend Jenny's brother, um, they farm up on the fell side, the ones without the snow on that I just showed you. Um, he was selling some last year, like a massive big system. They went to um, Junction 36 auction and I was like, oh, I don't need them. Yeah, I'm not that big. I wish I'd have bought them, to be honest. Um, kind of gutted that I didn't because it looked like a decent setup. And I would have only needed them. And I know it was far too big for what I wanted, but I would have only needed them. So yeah, now I'm on the hunt. Let me know what you think. So this is just barley and bush barley. And that's from Boy's dad's house at Cracker Mob. And we feed this to the stores. We've got a load of like dairy beasts in here. And we just give them a little bit extra before the girls come through. Um, you know, the stores. I've been watching Irish YouTube a lot and I'm calling things like weanlings and stores and trogs. We don't have troughs anymore, we have trogs, guys. Trogs. I love it.
What is that look for? Seriously, look at his face. What's that look for? Do not mess with me, young man. I remember you when you were tiny. I bottle fed you. Don't you forget it. I bottle fed you. Huh? Don't you disrespect me. Chaz likes to um, try and steal milk off all the cows because he thinks he's a baby. Yeah. Yeah, you're a bit of a pain in the ass to be honest, aren't you? But do you know what? Out of all the bulls that we've had that have been extremely expensive, our own homebred one is the only one that keeps condition. Work that out. Next door. Wow! Look how many bales it can carry! Broken? That's when you turn it off. It's fine when it's running. As soon as you turn it off, that's what it does. Snow dogs! Come on, Mrs. Snow Dog. We have a calf at Crackenthorpe. I was time lapsing at the time, so I couldn't show you because um, my phone was on the roof, like on the roof. I ran into the dairy, the younger dairy calves, and there was calf cast out. So it was it was cast, cast, um, stuck on its side. It got itself on a tiny little bit of a banking by a doorway, and it was just, I think it was just that little bit too far over that it couldn't hoist itself back up. Anyway, um me and I, I shouted Roy and he ran in and um we we stood it up and it was absolutely fine. Very shaky. Um, but I think that's just because it had been lying on its side for such a long time. Honestly, just always fighting fires. That's just what farming is. Um, just, just be like that. It's just like that. Spider cat. Spider cat. So beautiful. Hello. Oh, is all going the village today? What? Whoa! What was the? Whoa! What's he doing? So that. Uh, that digger there, which was just crazy, Roy said it was because he had metal tracks on it and he didn't want to screw the road up coming off the trailer and turning around. He's walked it off the trailer straight onto private property so that it didn't screw the tarmac on the road up. Today, look at this Bailey dump trailer. You don't see many of them. Car. This is the one that was cast out. Um, he's not looking too badly, to be fair. He's looks a bit miserable here. Um, kind of annoyed at me. So it's going to be well, really cold tonight. So just bringing this bale in, just to give him a bit more shelter from the weather. That'll do. The weird bit is, he was totally fine yesterday with his friends. Um, I didn't notice anything different about him. So I don't know whether he's had a bit of a fall, he's been pushed, I don't know. Um, you just have to keep an eye. It's all you can do, isn't it? So I'm hoping it's going to be quite warm in here. Um, he's on a really good straw bed and he's got a straw bale here. Loads to eat. Business. <laughs> oh, I've just come to check the girls. Oh, it's chilly, ladies. How are we all? Looking snazzy there, girl. Such a naughty little girl, aren't you? Naughty. To be fair, they just see me as the bringer of food. That's it, that's my role in life. Hello. Fortunately for that Ryland, it's having a single lamb, so that is gonna be one to keep an eye on. 
Um, and also things like this. Let's keep an eye on. Ah, uh, yeah. We have like twins, 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 single twins, twins, single, single, single twins, twins. Like, it'll just hit you sometimes, doesn't it? How lucky we are. I mean, seriously. What? Right, I'm gonna leave it there for today, guys, because I don't think anything else particularly interesting is gonna go on and I could do to edit this video before I get busy. So, thank you very much for watching. And I mean that, the more people that watch, the further the video goes. So don't forget to click like, subscribe, share, because it shows people um, that you're interested and then it pushes the channel out to more people. So thank you very much and I will speak, not tomorrow, the day after.